guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you all about the Shayla and ColourPop collaboration that recently launched. I'm so excited my package finally came in the mail yesterday. I was like, where's my package? It's taking so long to get here and it finally got here. So I was super excited to sit down today and film this video for you. So if you guys want to see what I think of the palette, what I think of the lippies and see how to get this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so obviously I have no lipstick on, <laughs> but we're going to jump right into the tutorial on these eyes first, and then we will do the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a Morphe R39 brush, and I'm going to pick up the shade Culture, and I'm just going to blend this into my crease. This is a really pretty peachy brown. And then I'm going to pick up the shade Thick, which is a really pretty orangey color. I'm going to add that to the outer V. And the crease. Next up I'm taking a Morphe M332 brush and I'm gonna pick up the shade Revenge. I'm just gonna dab this right on the outer corner. And then I'm taking that Morphe R39 brush one more time and I'm picking up the shade Culture again and I'm just blending to make sure our three shades are nice and smooth. Next up, I'm gonna take the shade 14 on a Mikasa E230 brush. Put this on my eyelid. I'm not gonna pull it up too high. And now I'm going back in with Culture, again on my R39 brush. I'm gonna blend. And then I'm picking up thick and I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to put thick right sandwiched as tightly in the crease as I can. Now I'm going to pick up more 14 again and this time I'm going to give it a spritz with Fix Plus and I'm going to brush it on. Look at that. I'm going to use a Mikasa E310 brush with a tiny bit of 14 on it. I'm just gonna wiggle it over the edges. I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of Stallion and I'm lightly adding it to the, to the outer V. Stallion is really pretty because it's like a black, but it has this bright blue glitter in it. And then I'm going to take a Mikasa E300 brush, just a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to pick up a little bit more thick and culture just mixed together. And I'm going to use that just to make sure that these shades are all blending. I'm going to clean up under my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some makeup on this face, and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes. Next, I'm going to take the shade Unbothered, just a really pretty highlight color. I'm going to put that right in my inner corner. It's kind of like a white with this gold or like rose goldy undertone to it. It's really pretty. Okay, next we are going to take the shade Culture and run that on our lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of thick and I'm going to add that as well. And then I'm going to take some of Revenge. I'm going to keep this kind of to the outer half. And now I'm going to take a Luxie 221 T brush, it's a little tiny flat brush. And I'm going to pick up more of 14 and I'm just going to press it to my lower lash line. On the outer part of the eye, I'm going to take some more of Stallion. This is just an Urban Decay brush, but it's just a little kind of dense brush. I'm going to take a little bit more of Culture and just smooth it all together. So working with the palette, I feel like it is very similar to all the other ColourPop shadows that I've worked with. However, I will say that this one has 
creamier, softer, metallic shades. They're all very beautiful and I was really drawn to this side of the palette, but I wanted to step outside my comfort zone and do something a little bit different for this look because this side is also very, very beautiful. And I feel like I do a lot of the same kind of like, just like natural gold glam kind of looks in these kind of videos where I try out new palettes or I try out new products or I'm unboxing a boxy charm or whatever. I rarely do something out of my comfort zone. So I want to do something out of my comfort zone with this palette because I think the shades are just so beautiful. This palette is bigger than the average ColourPop palette. So this palette retails for $22 and this is their average palette, which I think retails for... 16 maybe? I'm not entirely positive, but it's less than 22. So with the normal palette, you get 12 eyeshadows and no mirror. But with this new palette, I just bought another palette just like this yesterday. It's the Fame palette, so I'm excited for that one. But these palettes have 16 shades and a mirror inside. They also have the names on the package, like each name is underneath each color so that it's easier to use, and the names are on the back as well. So the packaging is different than the regular ColourPop palettes. It's definitely a change for the better, though this packaging doesn't really bother me that much. You know, like this, this doesn't bother me, but this is just convenient and nice to have. So yeah, I think that the the design on this is really beautiful. I love the paint splatter. I think it is so pretty. I'm gonna zoom you in and show you up close. So here's what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. It's got these like paint splatters on it and it is gold and purple and black. I think it's a really, really pretty, unique palette. You open it up. Some really beautiful shimmer shades in here. I think that working with this palette was fairly easy. The shades blended really, really nicely. The mattes are incredibly, incredibly creamy. The only thing about this palette that's a little weird to me is that there are really only four matte shades and the rest are metallics. That said, it doesn't bother me because I have 85,000 matte shades that I could use with any of these colors. And I like that she put all of these shimmers in here. And I think that for the majority of these shades, you could use these warm tones with. But it would have been nice to have a few cooler tone browns to use with this blue color. That said, I really love blue paired with warm tones, so it's totally fine. But in general, if you are looking to purchase this palette, just keep in mind that you do only get four matte shades. I want to say this kind of works like a matte because if you're not packing on the glitter and the sparkle, you're just going to kind of get like this grayish bluish color that I use to transition from blue to the tan. But other than that, you know, it's not really practical in this sense that like you have a ton of matte shades that you can work with and use every day. If you're a collector of ColourPop palettes, if you're a really big fan of Shayla, then I think this is a great palette to have. If you just like makeup, this is a great palette to have. I mean, even if you're just into these colors right here, this is, this is a great neutral natural half of a palette. These are just brighter, crazier colors, though I'm so, so happy to get these. I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say. I just, like, it's not the most wearable palette, and I think that's okay because I don't think Shayla was trying to come up with the world's most wearable palette in the world, and I think that all of the shimmer shades are absolutely stunning. They are beautiful. Like, they are so soft and creamy. They are maybe the creamiest ColourPop shadows that we have seen yet and I'm pretty excited because they just released another new palette which I already mentioned that's the Fame palette and I'm so excited to see if the pigmentation is the same as this palette because of these guys are so soft and so creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these bad boys on my arm now. Here we have the shades in the Perception palette. I'm gonna go through and name them all for you. So the very first one is the shade Unbothered. It's a really pretty white gold. Then the next color we have is TF and that is just like a true gold color. Then we have this sparkly gray. This is Titus. Next we have Stallion which is that dark color that we have in our crease a little bit. It's like bluish gray, almost black with a light glitter in it. Next up we have this shade right here. This is Spill the Tea. It's a beautiful rose gold. Then we have Diva, which is a much more coppery gold. Next we have LE, which is like a metallic army green. Then we have 14, which is kind of like a cobalt blue metallic shade but it's a lot brighter when you use fix plus then we have the shade strut and stay this is a beautiful rosy copper color then we have a matte shade this is culture it is stunning it's a nice peach brown next up we have the shade sassy which is a 
kind of duochrome blue brown shade. I love these kind of colors. Next we have this metallic kind of purpley pink. This is September. Next we have Revenge, which is a beautiful burnt reddish color. Then we have Thick with a C. This is thick. This is a beautiful orange. Next up we have Played Out. This is a nice deep purpley brown and our last color is shade and this is a deep burgundy with a little bit of glitter in there so those are the swatches I think the colors are also so beautiful and I love that she named one of the shades Titus which was her dog's name he was a French bulldog and he passed away he was a little tiny baby when it happened I think he was only like a year maybe less he was so adorable and that was when I first started watching Shayla actually she'd always kind of like got on my nerves a little bit and I don't mean that in a mean way <laughs> at all if you love Shayla I don't mean in a mean way she always just seemed like super super cocky and I've learned that that's just like her personality like she's just like funny and she like has like an attitude to her and I thought when I was first watching her that she was like kind of cocky like I said and then um, Desi and Katie and crispy all these people were posting like i'm so sorry for your loss shayla on their instagrams and i'm like what happened you know what i mean like what could have happened and so then Sheila made a video and i watched it and i heard everything about titus and she was just like different in that video than i expected and so i started watching more of her stuff i followed her on snapchat and i started to really really like her and that's you know where i ended up buying all this stuff yeah i think sometimes it's hard on youtube to tell how a person is because you could watch like one video and get like the wrong impression or have like a bad Bad day or like maybe a youtuber is having a bad day and they film a video and like you kind of aren't feeling them and then it's kind of like I don't like them but they deserve a second chance sometimes you know so anyway it's not really important I just like that she named that color Titus I would totally name a color after my dogs if I was making an eyeshadow palette so she also released three Lux lips and one lip gloss so we're gonna try all these colors on our mouth right now like we always do when there are lip products involved however i will say that she did also my nose is itchy she did also release two highlighters that i didn't purchase <gasps> i don't have highlighter on oh my gosh oh my gosh how did i forget highlighter it's the most important part so she did release two highlighters and they were absolutely stunning and the reason i didn't purchase them is i didn't feel that they would work for my skin most highlighters don't work for my skin i'm surprised this gold one even works for my skin i mean it only works for my skin sometimes so you know so i didn't purchase them just because i felt like i wasn't going to get any use out of them i could be completely wrong about that but so those are the only two things in the collection that i didn't purchase so yeah let's jump into lip swatches this is the lip gloss. This is called Neat Freak. This lip gloss reminds me of the Desi Katie collab with Dose of Colors, which is my all-time favorite lip gloss ever, and I was so sad when it got discontinued, so I might buy like four of Neat Freak because I need to own them forever. This is the Luxe Lip in the shade Come On Sis. I love this color. I think it's so, so pretty, so, so wearable, so, so easy to pull off. It's like a perfect mauve pink. This is the Lux Lip in the shade, ooh. I love this color. I can't wait for a summertime because I feel like I could really rock this color with a little bit of a tan. I love how like peachy tangerine it is and I can't wait to wear this. And this is the Lux Lip in the shade Quickie. I absolutely adore Quickie. I think it's such a pretty peachy nude shade. I am loving it. Loving it. We did swatches of the lip products. We did swatch. We did swatches of the lip products. We did swatches of the eyeshadow palette. We did a little tutorial. So now it's time to give you my final thoughts and opinions on this collection. So obviously, like I said, I don't have the highlighters. So I can't, you know, do the collection as a whole 
because I don't have those two things. But of the things that I have, I would give this collection like an A. Like a legitimate A. 99%. This lip gloss, out of, like, like I'm gonna go buy like 17 of these. 17. I know that having deeper skin tone it tends to get overlooked a lot and I like God, this hair won't stay behind my ear. This eyeshadow palette is absolutely stunning. The colors are amazing. The pigmentation is amazing. The price is amazing. The mirror, the size of the palette, everything about this is amazing. I loved using it on my eyes today. I think this look came out really, really pretty. It's kind of grungy for me. It's not kind of. It definitely is grungy for me, but I still like it. And I wear my Ariel shirt today so I can match my eyes to my shirt. But I just think that this palette is going to be a great addition to a makeup collection. Like I said earlier, I don't know how much the like simple girl who wears just like a wash of color on the lid like a light gold every day is going to get from this palette, but if you're anybody who's into makeup, this is a beautiful palette to own. It's beautiful greens, beautiful blues, this beautiful pop of pink right here. There's just so many things that you can do with this palette and I do plan on doing more looks with this palette. I would like to use just the colors on this side. I would like to try this green. I'm obsessed with green. I don't have any green and yeah, there's so many things that you can do with this palette I think if you want to think outside of the box and I think it's absolutely beautiful for the price is bomb <laughs> you need this palette in your life I've been doing a bunch of palette reviews on my channel lately and I have another one coming probably next week as soon as the fame palette gets here I also have a bunch of luxe lips that I purchased I'm probably gonna do just like a quick little lip swatch video for you guys I purchased from their like spring collection thing that they launched I don't really have that much else to say about the collection I think it's awesome I think this palette is amazing ColourPop ColourPop just like ups their game I feel like constantly all the time their products are out of this world for their price like I have expensive expensive stuff that is nowhere near as good as this my naked palette the pigmentation is not this good you know these mattes are like Kat Von D mattes you know what I mean and this is so much cheaper so I definitely recommend this palette I recommend any ColourPop palettes I recommend these lips they're so comfortable I love them so much I recommend their lip glosses they're some of my favorite lip glosses because they are not sticky but they're very glossy you do have to reapply a few times a day to keep it on, but that doesn't bother me because I feel like lip gloss, everybody knows it comes off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click right there. And if you want to watch my latest video, click right there. My name is Alexis, and I'll see you next time. Bye!